hi guys and welcome back to ask nk in today's video we'll be talking about an app which is web based just like we do all the time it is an app called photopea and uh just in case you don't know what photopea is it is basically your online photoshop so what this does is it gives you the ability to do every single thing you would ever want to do with photoshop i've seen other apps that are very competitive i've seen the affinity i've also seen uh, other free apps that exist like gimp and all that but if you're coming from the photoshop background you would want to stick with photoshop or maybe you want to do something with an app that is quite similar and this app is one of those apps that you would actually want to make use of and how you can get to this app is you go over to the website which is www.photopea.com it is simply for free so you can come over to this website download you and actually don't have to download you can come over to this website and automatically you can start working directly here and once you come to the website you're going to see something like this that tells you about what uh, you can do with this particular stuff and if you simply close that you will be able to have an interface like this very simple straightforward i don't like the entire new interface that has to do with uh, photoshop where you have to find and all those recent stuff it might be helpful to some people but i just find it a little bit uh i don't really appreciate it that much though so it is my personal opinion guys and what i what we're going to do now is you can come through uh click on new project and within the new project you can find sample templates which you can make use of to create your stuff this is quite handy because for an app like this that is fully online and you're paying zero fee for you can be able to just simply come through and select your facebook header and you see all of this automatically adjust to it and if you want to get like a youtube profile all of these things are automatically adjust to it and let's go for instagram and something like this and automatically once you just click on one image so let's go ahead and click on this image it loads up it tells you the font that it's loaded and you have that information right at your fingertips and every single thing you want to do just like you do that in photoshop or just like you do in photoshop you can find that here so if you are into like colors or text or just simple designs all of those amazing things that you do in uh, traditional photoshop you find that here the only difference between this and the traditional photoshop which you make use of which is from adobe is that there is no 3d and i can barely uh, count the number of people or number of times i've actually thought about doing 3d basically a lot of people just simply go over to the 3d app of their choice and do the 3d there and maybe just render it out, out there and just bring it directly to photoshop except you have invested so much time or so much plugin into photoshop i see no reason why you would want to not use this particular app that is simply for free web-based and it doesn't uh it up on your computer memory or on your computer hardware let me give you some more details about this app so in case you're going to make use of this app in the future you would not be stranded so well, initially and definitely this app is for free like we've seen right now so if you want to make use of this app you can just simply come through let's say we want to change the text here where we have wake me up i can simply just select the text i can uh, you know come through change how bold i want it to be and automatically it is if i go over to this part where, we, where it's character i can choose to make all of these capital letters uh, and small letters exactly the same things that you do in your traditional photoshop you are definitely going to find them here the lasso tool works the um, healing uh, brush works all of these tools here work i would really like you to go out there you know uh, go over to your browser definitely you need an internet connection obviously and then you also need a web browser and try this app for yourself see what it does and then you can go ahead and maybe put directly to something like this or maybe uh you can use this for something uh in the future let's say for example you're in a cafe yeah and uh, you get this email you have to edit something and you don't need to you know download photoshop anymore or maybe take this copy and go to the house or open your laptop and start editing this you can directly do that there on your web browser without any hassles and if you're working from your desktop or let's say you have a file that has been sent to you you can come over to this part where we have the file go over to open and then you can sort out or you can find your um your photoshop file and go ahead and open it i'm going to go ahead and open up a photoshop file which i have and you can see this is well, like probably the last thumbnail which i made and then you can see i have every single thing which i made use of you can see all my layers how they all stacked up and also you can come through and see that i can now uh, come here and edit now one thing you might have noticed is that for something like this we have uh, definitely lost the font which we make which we made use of and it is 
very very necessary to also understand that uh when you're working with these you can also install your own fonts yes you can install your own fonts even if you are working online. So I'm making use of a font here, which is called Helvetica New. And Helvetica New is something you can download on some websites, you can get them for free, but I would really advise you to actually uh, purchase it if you can. Just purchase the, the, the damn thing, guys. Just purchase it. Okay, so once you get it done, I'm going to go ahead and just simply select, and then you see we have this uh, shifted. So how do we put this back on track? How we can put this back on track is simple. Go over to the character panel, click down here you can see where we have that um helvetica new and i can click on load font and if you click on load font you will definitely need to find where this font is sometimes you might not know where your fonts are i'm going to show you how you can find your fonts on your computer just in case you're using a windows and uh, probably for the mac guys i don't know i'll find a url put in the description so that you can find that out for yourself and so what i'm going to do now is go over to where i have my fonts all saved out and i'm going to go ahead select all the fonts and allow this to load and you can see that it's going to go ahead and load up all the fonts that i have just selected and this is pretty handy because first and foremost you might probably not want to you know uh load up all these fonts on your computer you might just want to have them on your flash drive and you know make use of a flash drive to load these things wherever you're going or if it's fonts that you can download on the internet that simply means you have your fonts on the go and once you're in a cafe or something like that you can just simply download the fonts load them directly here or even if you can create an account you can create an account so that you can save up your your fonts and all of those um, amazing stuff which i'm also going to talk to you guys later about so let's give this font some time and allow it to load and then i'll get back to you guys and talk to you guys about some other stuff but before we uh go out and while this is loading let me simply use this time to show you how you can find your fonts on your computer so if you have uh, a windows and you go over to your c drive you can locate your fonts directly here so if you uh, go over to your c drive go to windows you can scroll all the way down and click on fonts now within the fonts you're going to find all your installed fonts here and you can simply pick up one of them and copy them out and then you can you know maybe transfer it to somewhere else you know copy it to someone or maybe just save it on your flash drive just for backup sakes just in case while our fonts are still loading i think this is the best time to also talk to you guys about something you probably should know about this app so initially and definitely this is a free app which simply means you can do all of your photoshop and your you know your sketch your xd stuff for free but then there is a small red button here which is called account so if you click on this account what it simply says is that you would probably not have ads so if you're making use of a browser that doesn't block out ads for you then most probably you're going to find something like this like an ad by the side you know just for sponsorship sake so if you pay for or something that's a premium quality or maybe you pay for premium then you're not going to see something like this and you can also help you know suggest be, uh, better ways of you know improving this stuff this is things that you cannot get for free right now because we're using this for free we have all the advanced tools we need but we cannot stop this particular one uh, ad that we have here and also we cannot give all of that Im improvement or uh, bug report just in case uh, which is slightly not a problem because there is definitely no bug I mean since the time I've been using this app it hasn't crashed on me it's the web browser so if it's definitely going to crash that means the web browser should close and uh, it hasn't uh, hold up like uh, frozen because it's still a web browser so if it's definitely going to freeze that simply means that the browser is going to freeze which that hasn't happened about this tiny ad which we have here there is a way you can get this out of your way so if you just simply click on this close button and uh, maybe report this bug and you can say not interested in the ad and now you're not going to be able to see something like that but if you want to get a premium uh, version of this particular uh, uh, app which we're talking about it simply means you can pay 20 dollars which you can get for 90 days and i think guys this is pretty cheap it's something you would probably want to sink your teeth right into and if you're paying for uh 30 days you can get it for nine dollars it's barely ten dollars guys and uh you have other stuff that you can pay for here but for the most part you definitely don't need to pay for this app you just need to you know, you know just log in do all of your for your your stuff and you know get it over with so let's check back on our fonts to see if they've loaded and they are still loading we'll still give it a bit of time while this is loading i think it's a good time to you know look at some of the tools that uh, also exist here so if i go over and click on the new something we were doing earlier and let's say i select something like this 
and we have uh, this and you see it loaded up the font we can come through exactly the very same things you can do in photoshop exactly the same things we can do in photoshop is what we can do here so we can come through and you know simply double click and change the solid color just in case we want to change the solid color and uh, at any point in time you can also switch these colors just like you can do in photoshop for example and most probably you might be asking does it have effect does it have all those masks yes it has your adjustment layer it has all of that uh, layer effects here it has the mask as well so you can go ahead and put a mask directly here and you know edit that mask to your own uh, satisfaction so if i come through and come over here and maybe make here white and you know let this part be as dark as it is i can still simply just uh, have this selected within the mask and click and drag and you're going to notice that i'm having uh, a mask going all the way from white directly to black so uh let me just go back and do that one more time so that you can see i'm going to go through change this to white okay and this is black and i'm going to select okay so we can have that so if i come through with this selected and there you can there you go then you can see that that you can still edit with the mask uh, directly from here so basically every single thing which you would want to do you can uh, easily uh, find them here and for example also let me just simply come through and play with this flower if you're working with photoshop you might probably have dealt with smart objects before or maybe vector objects so uh now i have this i can right click and choose to rasterize this which is uh, simply something you can do you can still come through convert it to smart object so once you double click it you can see what we have in uh in here that we can now jump over to this part and you know change the colors and once we're done changing the color we can go all the way back and you know once we come through we can save this go all the way back and see it how it is so i'm going to say save smart object and it's going to update the smart object and there you can see it here now the next question which you probably will be asking is how about the filters so the filters are basically the main filters that you see in photoshop no hassles these are the filters you can get all of the uh, filters that you would probably want to have in Photoshop, you can find all of them here. And when you're done doing everything you're done, you're doing, let's say this is an amazing piece of artwork that we've created, and it's time to get it out of here and get it maybe onto your computer, your flash drive or something, you can come through, go over to file, and you can export as different file formats okay so you can see all of these amazing file formats that you can export you can decide to export them with layers you can decide to save as psd files so if you want to get your files out from here and get it to image go you can also get that that directly from here there is also a one key download which is here so once i just click here automatically is going to go ahead and download this real quick for me so let's check back on our file and see if it is done loading those fonts so i'm back here in the uh, previous part where we're working and now you can see that we have um this stuff completely loaded so if i come through and select this right now you can see that i have my fonts here so i can come through and just change all of this to 0011255 and then you can see i still maintain the same font so it's uh, typically what you can get with your default photoshop so if you're uh, wondering if you need to move from your default photoshop definitely my answer would be yes if you cannot pay for the subscription if you're tired of the whole adobe uh, thing then maybe you can move over to something like this if you don't have a comfortable hardware that can work with a recent version of photoshop then you can move to something like this as well the control keys are basically the same thing you definitely don't find any big difference they have the same um blending mode you can find all of that blending mode here you can you can do the whole opacity thing i think the only thing which i cannot lay my eyes here on is the flow so they don't have anything that has to do with flow which uh, happens when you are working with photoshop by default so i would like to know what you guys think about this tool is it something you know is it something you want to try out are there tools like this that exist on the internet you want me to cover i would like to know all of your thoughts in the comment section and if you like this video simply give it a like and don't forget to share it with your friends and if you're new here it will be amazing if you can hit that subscribe button and also turn on notification so that once i upload a new video you will be the first to know and until i see you guys next time with a rant review updates tutorial tips and tricks or something like this peace